In this lecture, let us understand the differences between minimal APIs and controller APIs. Note that controller APIs are also referred to as MVC APIs that denotes to the existing web API implementation supported in .NET Core. The minimal API refers to the new set of technologies that is exposed in .NET Core starting from .NET 6 version. When it comes to the differences, we can group them into various categories. First, let's look at the feature set. When it comes to the list of features available, the minimal API has a growing set of feature set. It means that currently the features is a bit limited, but the feature sets are being actively added to the minimal APIs. Coming to the controller APIs, we know that it comes with an extensive set of feature set out of the box. Next, when it comes to the structure of the API or your API project, in the case of minimal APIs, since it is a newer technology, the structure is still evolving. As I mentioned before, currently the minimal APIs can be created with just a single c -sharp file. In case your minimal API gets more complex when you are keep adding the new features, then the structure can be enhanced to handle it in a more easier fashion. The patterns or those designed for those structures is still evolving. However, in the case of controller APIs, it already comes with a well structured with routing and paths handled in a more seamless fashion. You typically create folders like controllers, models, and then implement those web APIs in the respective controller CS files. These are well structured in the case of controller APIs. It is important to note that controller APIs has been there in the market for a very long time. Hence, all these feature sets and structure has been implemented those to those controller APIs over a period of time. The same will be implemented in minimal APIs going forward. When it comes to the efforts, it's obvious that the minimal APIs is going to have a lower entry barrier to create these APIs. That is the whole purpose of the minimal APIs. You can create the APIs and expose the endpoints in a minimum set of features. However, when it comes to the controller APIs, you need to understand some of the basics of the MVC patterns before you start implementing and exposing the APIs using controller APIs. When it comes to the performance, the controller APIs performance is already good. However, the minimal APIs has a slight advantage wherein it's going to have a slightly better performance than the controller API. Having said this, when you are implementing the APIs, you can assume that the performance is going to be almost same in the case of minimal APIs as well as the controller APIs. So don't worry about the performance when you are picking one technology over the other. Finally, let's quickly discuss about the ideal usage of these APIs. You might be wondering, having known these differences, when to use the minimal API compared to the controller API. In simpler terms, you can use the minimal APIs when you want to build lightweight web APIs. In case you are wanted to have a full-fledged API that has got many controllers, you need to version those APIs, has many routings, then you can consider to use the controller APIs. In this course, we are going to focus on minimal APIs and hence we will be looking at how to create these minimal APIs, add the functionality to these web APIs and then expose the endpoints through the minimal API project types. Let's get started with creating the actual projects from the next step.